वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सिंगल स्टब इम्पिडेंस मैचिंग इन दिस वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग इन दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन हैव इम्पिडेंस मैचिंग यूजिंग वन स्टब एंड इन दैट आई विल डी रैव लेंथ एंड पोजिशन ऑफ स्टब इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन so let me show you first transmission line and then i'll explain you how we can have impedance matching in this now one can see this is transmission line and with this transmission line here at load we are having load impedance zl now if i say this transmission line impedance z0 and zl that is not matching to each other in that case there is a possibility of reflection of signal so to reduce reflection we need to have impedance matching and in this video i'll provide single stub impedance matching in that what i'll do is i'll place one stub that is short circuited stub you see so here i'm providing a connection of short circuited stub now what are the questions so question is see if i say this stub that is located at pp dash and this location from the load that is apparted by l and if length of this stub is l dash then what should be l and l dash so that we can have proper impedance matching with this transmission line right so as i have said we are having this stub for impedance matching now see now first question that is to have location of this stub right so we need to have such location of this stub where our input admittance of this transmission line that has to be 1 plus jx remember my dear friends this location pp dash that should be such that input admittance of this transmission line that has to be 1 plus jx and my dear students this is what we will have to remember to derive formula of l and l dash now next question is what should be the length of this short circuited stub so see length of the short circuited stub should be chosen such that this admittance of this short circuited stub that has to be minus jx so this is even very essential comment that one should remember now you see why do we do this see this is what input admittance and this is normalized input admittance right and in this normalized input ad admittance if normalized input admittance at this location for this admittance if it is 1 plus jx and if short circuited stub is such that its admittance is minus jx means for this admittance is minus jx then you see both of this are in parallel to each other so total admittance at pp dash that will be this plus this why both are added the reason is both are in parallel to each other so in parallel admittance will get added to each other so y1 that is 1 plus jx and y2 that is minus jx so normalized admittance that will be 1 if normalized admittance is 1 means there is perfect impedance matching which is happening in this transmission line so this is what the case which we are deal with to do now to do this let us use those formulas which we have already derived in our previous videos so i have already derived formula for input impedance 
Zadine formula that I have already derived, I'll be using it directly over here to have a conclusion of calculation. If you see my previous video Zadine that I have derived that is equals to Z0 into ZL plus JZ0 tan beta L divided by Z0 plus J ZL tan beta L. This is what I have already derived in my previous video. Right. Now here as I have said see all this calculation that I have done in terms of normalized admittance. So first what I will do is I will normalize this impedance and after impedance I will make it to admittance. So to have normalized impedance all we need to do is normalize Z in that is this Z in by Z0 and normalize ZL that is this ZL by Z0. Now to have this equation in this formula you can observe you see here we have Z in by Z0 you just take this term over here and that is equals to if you take Z0 common from numerator and denominator you will be having ZL by Z0 plus J tan beta L divided by 1 plus J ZL by Z0 tan beta L. Here I have took Z0 common from numerator and denominator. Now I can place this to have normalized impedance. So normalize Z in. Now as I have told you our calculation that is there in terms of admittance. So I will have to replace this impedance in terms of admittance. So admittance is 1 by impedance. So Z in is 1 by Y in that is equals to 1 by Y L which is Z L plus J tan beta L divided by 1 plus J 1 by Y L tan beta L. Now let us simplify this further and let us have Y in. So if you take Y in as a major term then you see YL that will come here and that will come here and this denominator that will go in numerator as 1 by Y in is there. So I can say YL plus J tan beta L divided by 1 plus J YL tan beta L that is our formula. Now as you see what I have said is our input impedance that should be 1 plus Jx. So we will be comparing our input impedance with 1 plus Jx. So all I need to do is I need to separate real and imaginary of this. So to separate real and imaginary of this I will be multiplying and dividing complex conjugate of denominator. So 1 minus J YL tan beta L divided by 1 minus J YL tan beta L that is what the case which I will be multiplying and dividing. Now Y in is equals to now you see in denominator it will be 1 plus sorry 1 minus J square means J square is minus 1 so 1 plus that will be there YL square and tan square beta L. And in numerator, I need to separate real and imaginary. So real part, you see YL into 1. So that will be our real part. And you see J tan beta L into minus J YL tan beta L. So that will be minus J square. So minus is getting plus. And YL tan square beta L that we can say. This is our real part. Now to have imaginary you see j tan beta l multiply by 1 so that is plus j into tan beta l and you see yl into minus j yl tan beta l so that will be minus yl square tan beta l. 
Now let us rewrite this in terms of real and imaginary separately. So from here uh, 1 minus yl square that I have written and 10 beta l that I have took common. Right. So now we have real plus imaginary and as I have said you see I need to compare this input impedance admittance sorry with 1 plus jx. So this is equals to 1 right. Now let us cross multiply this. Now see by solving this equation what we wanted to have we wanted to have l. See what we want is we wanted to have y in right input impedance that should be 1 plus jx and see y in is where it is at pp dash where length is l. So y in for this that should be 1 plus jx where this l is position right. So we need to simplify this equation in terms of position l. So what I'll do is I'll make this 10 square beta l as major term. So 10 square beta l into yl minus yl square that will be there with us and that is equals to 1 and this yl will go on opposite side. So 1 minus yl. So we can say this 10 square beta l. You see yl will come common. So this will be 1 minus yl. So 1 minus yl will get cancelled and this will be 1 by yl. So I can say this 10 beta l that is square root of 1 by yl. Now if I want to write this in terms of impedance then I can say 10 beta l that is equals to square root of zl and this is normalized impedance. So I can say this L is equals to 1 by beta 10 inverse and square root of normalized is what ZL by Z0 and this beta is what beta is 2 pi by lambda. So this will be L is equals to lambda by 2 pi 10 inverse square root of ZL by Z0. So this is our one equation that identifies position of stub. This is quite interesting. You will have to understand this and you will have to apply this to have a calculation of position of stub. Now next is calculation of length of stub. And if you observe our stub is short circuited stub. You see our stub is short circuited stub. So to have short circuited stub length, we need to consider first this is short circuited stub. So short circuited stub is having ZSC and that has to be plus J Z0 tan beta L dash. This is what one should know regarding stop short circuited stub where this L dash that is what a length of short circuited stub. Now here see what I have said is for this short circuited stub for this short circuited stub this admittance should be minus jx right. So here I need to have this in terms of admittance first. So first I'll write this in terms of admittance. I'll be making this to normalized one. So zsc by z0 that is equals to j 10 beta l dash and this is normalized short circuited right and now I can make it to admittance so ysc that is 1 by j is minus j and 1 by 10 is cot beta l dash right now this ysc means y2 that has to be minus jx you see. So here I have separated real and imaginary part. So minus of jx that should be our 
cot beta l dash so cot beta l dash that has to be this term right 1 plus jx that is this so here ysc that is minus jx so cot beta l dash that is equals to this now what i want is i want to simplify this equation right and if you see 10 square beta l so that i have already calculated 10 square beta l is how much 1 by y l right so let me place 10 square beta l that is 1 by y l first and 1 y l will get cancelled so we will be having cot beta l dash right 1 y l will get cancelled and you see 1 minus y l square so further simplification is possible so we can say 10 beta l into 1 plus y l will get cancelled so this will be 1 minus y l only and we know 10 beta l that is 1 by square root of y l right 10 square beta l is 1 by y l so 10 beta l is 1 by square root of y l you see y l that that i need to write in terms of now z l right so you see y l is 1 by z l so i can say this will be square root of z l into 1 minus 1 by z l so i can say this 10 beta l dash that will be square root of z l z 0 divided by z l minus z 0 and based on that i can have l dash that is 1 by beta that is lambda by 2 pi into 10 inverse of square root of z l minus z l z 0 divided by z l minus z 0 so this is a length of stub right so this is quite different calculation but once you do some practice definitely will be getting this derivation it is very easy only basic things that you will have to understand you will have to remember z in calculation right so z in that i have said directly will be taking it right and after that what we will be doing is we will be separating real and imaginary in in terms of y in and as i have said y in that is 1 plus jx so this is one that will result into l and once you have short circuited stuff so that is what minus jx so you can compare it with this and we will be having l dash so this is how basic calculations are there i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video